Morning guys, today we're talking about shoulders. Alright guys, let's talk about shoulders, in particular shoulder pain. So you get pain in the arm, sometimes it radiates around to the front, sometimes it's just up into here. And I'm not talking about the kind that goes up into the neck, that's a, a different injury. The pain that causes you not to be able to lift that arm very easily, you get pain at the top when you try it. Uh, those are rotator cuff injuries. Primarily it's the supraspinatus injury. It could be torn, it could just be a little inflamed. So I'm gonna give you three drills to do that will really help with the pain in the shoulder. I use it to rehab my shoulders many times. So the first you can see in this video is an external rotation exercise. I like to use weights and lie on my side rather than using bands. Because bands you usually, you tend to get less resistance at the beginning and more resistance at the end. I like it to have equal resistance all the way through the motion. So if you look at this video, you'll see that by lying on your side, you're gonna use either two, three, five pound weight. Don't go any more than five. I don't care how strong you are. I'm using 10 in this video. It's too much. It's just what I had in hand. You wanna have about a five pound weight so that you can do a set of 20 if you can. And I like to do two sets of 20 with each shoulder. Um, for smaller people, use a two or three pound. Don't go any more than that. If you don't have any weights, you can actually just use a big water bottle, something that weighs one to two pounds. And it's not the, the weight of it, it's, it's just you need enough resistance on it to really work the little muscles of the shoulder, which is those rotator cuff muscles, which are little. You use anything more than five pounds and you're starting to get into the deltoids and the traps and the, the lats, and, and we don't want that. So again, if you look at this video, watch the way that I'm doing it. Lay on your side, you're gonna try to do two sets of 20, so I would switch sides, even if you only have one bad shoulder. It's a good exercise for both shoulders. The second thing you're gonna do is you wanna work the muscles that keep the shoulder blade next to the body, because we want those shoulder blades tight to the body. The way you do that is you can either do full pull-ups, but not everybody can do full pull-ups. You can also use a pull-down bar, but in this demonstration, I'm showing a, a pull-up bar in my house. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you can do a pull-up, or if you do, can't do a full pull-up, you do what I call just a scapula, kind of a scapula pull-down, if you will. I'm not sure what the technical name is. It. So you're not doing a full pull-up. It's like you're doing the very beginning of the exercise. You're just trying to bring the shoulder blade or the scapula down, so you're flexing those muscles to, to bring the shoulder blade down. Um, what that helps do is it helps bring that, the, the scapulas into where they need to be. It's a great exercise. Again, if you can't hold your body weight, then find a pull, pull down bar at your gym and you're just gonna put it on a weight where you're comfortable bringing those shoulders and pinching the, the shoulder blades down and in. The third thing you should do is you need to stretch the front of the shoulder girdle. So that's stretching your pec muscles in here, the anterior delt, so I usually do it in a doorway. So I just really put my arm in a door and then I stretch it back. Because the problem is everybody does everything out in front of them. So the shoulders tend to come around and in. If you look at a lot of people out there, you'll see their shoulders are rounded. The more rounded those shoulders are in, the less range of motion you're gonna have, the more chance you have of getting impingement syndrome or that pain you get uh, in the upper shoulder when you try to move your shoulders. So these three simple steps, you can do immediately. I would do the stretch every day. Do the other two exercises, you know, maybe two, three times a week. Just be consistent with it, and you'll notice within the first week, your shoulder will probably start to feel better. So again, remember those three things, and I'll see you next time.